Okay, so finally today I'm going to show you guys how I shape longer nails. So they're not, I mean, extremely long, but they're long for what I do. Okay, so we're not going to be taking any length down, so I'm not going to be filing them this way. I'm going to start right away from shaping them here. So I'm going to place the file underneath. And file up to the point and I always imagine like a straight line running down and then I take the other side very easy easy piece okay underneath so I don't place the file here and start filing because you're gonna file into the this area of the nail which you don't want to do so place the file here and then here now I'm gonna compare this one is a little bit longer so I'm going to shorten it a little bit I like to look at the nails from this angle, so I point them down to see how the how the shape kind of falls, and then I compare them. So now I compare this this one to this one. Filing back and forth does not make the nails fray, by the way. What makes the, the nails fray is um, surface that is damaged. So there is nothing wrong with filing, filing back and forth. And what matters is the grit of the file. So the finer the file is going to give you a smoother surface, but I'm going to go over the nails with the buffer block at the end to make the ends softer. Okay, so now I'm going to compare Point them down. I always look at the free edge at the end of the nail. I don't look at the white part because the white part very often is uneven, especially on these nails and on the thumbs. So this side usually goes up higher. So completely try to ignore the, the white part. If you have difficulty with shaping or that white part is uneven, what sometimes help is shaping the nails when they are still polished. This I'm going to shorten a little bit. It's quite long. And now I'm going to start again from here. Again, filing up to that imaginary line here, to here. And now I'm going to match the other side. You can also look at the nails from this go here and also yeah they're quite even you can also look at the thumb from this angle here okay this needs to be shortened a little bit
going to compare. Shorten it a little bit. Again, place the smile here. Up to this imaginary line, so up to here. to match the other side. So now we can see that probably won't be able to do this because this one is quite slanted here. So we'll do what we can. And that's what happens with natural nails. They aren't perfect and that's okay. Well, actually, pretty damn close. Magic. A little bit more pointy, I think, than the other one, but we'll compare. Looks good, though. Also, nails that have higher C-curve, that are curved more, look better rounder. And nails that are quite flat usually look better squarish. Okay, let's just compare the thumbs now. And you see this one is longer, and it's a little bit less pointy, so we're going to know. a little bit. Perfect. And that's it.